serving all of the Genesee and Great Lakes Bay region. You're watching NBC 25 News. A Lake Fenton High School student hospitalized with flu-like symptoms has died. Good evening, everyone. I'm Josh Marshall. School officials confirmed the death this morning, telling NBC 25 the male student was in the ninth grade. Community reaction to the loss of life and what you can do to protect yourself, it's our big story. It's a terrible thing, but at, at least it's not going to affect the kids going to school. The ninth grader's death is a bittersweet situation for Gerald Brady. He got, got the flu uh, while he was off on his Christmas vacation, so they won't have to uh, you know, go through what you have to go to with all the rest of the students. Dr. Jessica Kirby says the student's death is unusual for influenza. It's a viral illness that's typically self-limited, uh, except for a few population, populations, and that's going to be the real young children, um, those with chronic problems like asthma, COPD, those with chronic illnesses, and those that are very old. There are ways to limit your risk of influenza, including vaccination. Typically, the best way to prevent it is to A, stay away from people who have the illness, um, B, avoid being in contact with people who are sneezing, coughing. Um, you also want to wash your hands as much as you can, and if possible, have gotten the influenza vaccine. The Lake Fenton High student is the second in two recent deaths in Fenton, both experiencing flu-like symptoms. My suspicion is that these people are um, being diagnosed late. So they're getting the flu, they're getting the complications, they're not seeking medical treatment. According to WebMD, 5 to 20 percent of the U.S. population gets the flu each year. 200,000 Americans are hospitalized because of the complications, and a number of people who die from the flu-related causes varies greatly. It's a range of 3,000 to 49,000 people. We'll continue to update you on this story on MyNBCNews.com.